Right, the motor. So this is the plan. I've attached one of these to the motor cable and uh, a speed controller at the other end and that goes into the mains so we'll do a careful test just to see if the motor works I'm going to put an extra power breaker in circuit just to make sure that um, we're protected against anything nasty OK, we're about to go once I press the button on the power breaker, so watch for flames, listen for nasty explosion noises, or maybe more likely nothing, let's see. Okay, well, that's the helm. Ooh. Clicking noise past a certain point. It's going round and it's obviously not got a bend in it that shaft because you can't even see that it's turning. So the plan is to mount this sole butcher's mechanism, 35mm film projector mech, onto this old box that I've used for quite a few different projects. And then uh, there's only one film arm came with the butcher's, so I'm actually going to make a unit that fits on here, goes up, um, and then a bolt through that to act as a feed arm. It only needs to, needs to take a 1,000 foot spool, so it won't be very big. And then there was the arm arrangement with the original butchers, so I'm going to try to fix that somehow to the back here for the take-up spool. The original lamp house, this little lamp house, that's not going to be big enough to house the um, LED unit that I'm going to make for this, so that comes off. And then, this thing, which is definitely not a gold label tea can. It might look like it, but in fact, of course, once it's sprayed black, it will be a very nice LED lamp house that will fit on here. And then the old motor, we just tested, will go inside the box. And uh, if it's too wide to fit snugly with the door shut, I'll take this side of the door off, it's not really needed. And then, there's the pulley, the drive pulley from the projector, so we'll need a slot in the box here for the leather belt to come round and uh, go around one of these pulleys, whichever one we decide is the most appropriate and some way of tensioning that leather belt, which might just be by mounting the motor with some washers underneath that can be removed to tighten up or whatever. Anyway, we'll get round to that eventually. So I think the first thing now is to take this lamp house off and put it away safely. Um, take the shutter off which is a bit bent up and it's got some odd bits of stuff that people have stuck on there to try to eliminate flickers so uh, clean, the, clean the shutter up and put it away ready to be replaced when everything else is done. So there we are, projector intended to be able to show 35mm Kinema Colour Film and that's Kinema Colour Film that 
I was involved in shooting in 1995, not the original 1909 or 1912 uh, footage, but some footage that we shot with the Kinema Colour Camera. 25 years ago nearly now. And we'll see how we get on with this over the next few days and weeks.